Okay, uh, welcome to uh, my uh, back garden. It's uh, also known as the uh, antenna graveyard, um, as my wife calls it. Uh, over here, I don't know if you can see that up there, there's uh, some bits of antenna. I've got a inverted L uh, going across the yard. I've got a G5 RV uh, running off the house into the garden. Uh, and here uh, I've got the uh, DX Commander, which I'll go into a bit more detail now. Okay, it's a. This is an experimental um, setup of the DX Commander Lite, the seven meter, uh, and it goes up to the top. But so I've got forty meter linear loading that comes back down. Uh, and I've got an element on for 17 meters. Um, <clears throat> radials, I've only put three sets on for the moment. Uh, what I've discovered, the two and a half meter radials really need to be stretched out and uncoiled. There's a lot of energy still on those coils. So that's one thing I need to sort out is get them nice and straight. I'm um, just using this, um, painter's pole with the uh, four meter uh, antenna on, the four meter dipole, just to strap it to for the moment. Good good old uh, electrical tape and a bungee, just so that I can uh, get the uh, DX Commander down and back up again, so I can get the lengths right. So that's my first attempt at uh, getting cutting the, uh, uh, cutting the lengths. Um, so at the moment, uh, 40 and 17 are in tune, 10's in tune, so I've got 40, 10 and 17 without the use of an ATU, but uh, if I stick this through an ATU I can get 20 as well as 6 as well. Um, so that gives me 40, 20, 17, 10 and six. I've not tried 12, uh, I've not tried 30 meters either. I'm not so interested in them, this, not so interested in 30 anyway. 12 maybe in a few years time but for the moment. Um, so this small seven meter uh, pole is giving me 40, 20, 17, 10, 6, five bands at the moment. Uh, can't complain. This is just the first go at that um, strapping this together. I know it's completely Heath Robinson and I know there's people out there that are going to be <clears throat> uh, shaking their head but uh, uh, this is just the first go and really I mean you, you can get a couple of hours before you have to get called in to do a, a DIY job or go and sort the kids out or go and sort the tea out for the family so really just spending a, about two hours, two, one and a half to two hours to uh, get the lens cut, get everything crimped and soldered up and uh, get this first, uh, the first DX commander up in the air so um, uh, hopefully this is the start of more to come uh, if I can really get these, get this uh, kit absolutely spot on um, and then learn how to dismantle and um, construct the, the portable antenna this will be become more than likely my um, go-to multi-band vertical for a portable work so uh, watch this space on the uh, DX Commander fantastic cheese cam okay this is just a um, a quick look at the the workbench uh, probably one of the smallest workbenches that you'll see on um, on YouTube but the point is that the the tools that I've got are very modest I mean the, these cost a few just a, a few quid not nothing much um, and my skill set isn't that good it isn't that great so a modest um, toolkit and uh, a small tiny amount of um, 
uh, experience of doing anything uh, constructive. Um, I mean, I've built a delta loop, inverted L and uh, quarter wave. So I've built a few wire antennas, done a little bit of soldering in the past. But really, um, this kind of stuff isn't uh, isn't that uh, too too expensive to get hold of, and just having a, a bit of time just to play around. Um, <clears throat> I've got one of these uh, Chinese uh, analyzers. That's really helped me with the uh, DX Commander because um, uh, when I uh, uh, when I when I when I cut the um, cut the wires for it, I I found out that some of the bands weren't that far out. Um, the the impedance the SWR was um, pretty decent and I knew I could bring that in with the um, matching unit so uh, that was that's been really helpful for the DX commander but not necessary not you know it's, you don't have to have one of these um, if you follow uh, Callum's instructions um, on the DX commander uh, website it gives you the lengths and. Uh, uh, just plug in the radio and use your um, SWR meter or uh, some radios that have got the meter built in as well. So you you can um, uh, you can rely on that to uh, especially just to cut in um, the the main um, the main band you're after. So um, that's it. Just wanted to show you the uh, the workbench and uh, just to uh, hopefully show you that you don't have to spend lots of money to be able to uh, build. Uh, the antenna. So um, that's it for now. Bye bye.